Hi everyone, my name is Sina. I work at the Civic Center Resource Library. I'm the Programs and Event Development Librarian for Vaughn Public Libraries. And you might have seen me around our STEAM camps and some of the events that we throw around all of our 10 branches. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to make um, magical water blossoms. And the magic part of this activity is actually science. And it's a very simple activity you can do at home with your kids. You just need a few basics that you can find around your house. You just need your scissors some paper, some regular eight by 11 computer paper will do. We've got our markers and a shallow dish with some water and we'll fill that up with water at the end. And maybe a pen and that's about it. So what we're gonna be doing is creating a flower and coloring it in with water-based markers. And that way, when we put our flower into our water, the, there will be a blooming effect and the uh, water-based markers will help to diffuse the color into the water as well. So plants absorb water through osmosis. And the way that they do this is they take the water from the highest area of concentration to the lowest area of concentration. So when you put water into the base of a flower pot, it will bring that water up to the petals and the leaves. And you can see that process happening when we do our experiment today. We're going to have our petals folded inwards and we're going to put the base of our flower in water. And through the process of osmosis, our flower will bloom in our water. The first thing we need to do is make our flower. There is a very easy way you can do this. You take a sheet of eight by 11 paper and you make it into a square. So what I like to do, instead of measuring um, my square with a ruler, I just take another sheet of eight by 11 paper and I lay it over. So that way the sheets are crossing each other. And then I fold along the line of where the excess paper sticks out and then that's where I cut. And we don't need to be perfect for this kind of activity. So roughly a square will do. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold my paper so that way I have four folds and that will turn into my eight pointed flower. And it's very easy. We're going to fold the sheet of paper in half like this. As you can see, I'm using a recycled piece of paper. So this paper has some stuff on the back already and that's okay. We're using what we have on hand. And then once I've created one fold, I'm gonna fold it again in the opposite direction, like this. And then I'm gonna fold each corner diagonally. So I'm gonna bring this corner here to this side, open it back up and bring this corner here to that side. So now that I have my folds, I'm going to fold the piece of paper up along the lines that I created into a triangle shape, always knowing where my center is. Once I have my center, I'm going to cut a petal shape like this into my paper. So that way it is the point of my petal. So I'm gonna cut just freehand. If you don't wanna freehand, you can just sketch it out here. So I've got what looks like a very pointy ice cream cone. When I open it up, I have my flower. And it's just a really easy way to make an evenly shaped flower. But you can go ahead and draw your own flower as long as you've got some points that you can fold in for our experiment. Here's the fun part. This is where you can color your flower. So I have a pre-colored flower here. I put in lots of different colors. And I colored the back too. And now I'm going to fold inwards each tip of my petal like this so that my flower is hiding like that. So my flower is completely folded. And now comes the fun part. You take your shallow dish and you fill it with water. I've got a little jug of water here. And I'm gonna be very careful because I have a lot of electronics around. 
When you do this at home, make sure you're away from the computer. All right. And now we'll be able to see the flower absorb the water and our petals will blossom. I'm not sure if you can see it on camera, but we've got some of the, the marker bleeding into the water. It's making this really cool rainbow effect. And that's the diffusion of the color of the pigment into the water. So this is a really simple, easy science experiment for you to do at home with some of the, the ingredients, the ingredients, the supplies that you have around the house. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're going to be creating this activity at home, please mention us with the hashtag VPL at home and show us your creations. Um, see you again soon. Bye.